This week I want to talk to you about something that maybe we don't think about a lot when we think about Jesus. We think about him as a teacher very often. But, you know, Jesus was kind of bossy a lot. The window that I'm standing next to illustrates just his last two days alive uh, in human form. And if you look, you'll see He's in the garden praying, Father, take this cup from me. A little above that is what we call Maundy Thursday. Do this for the remembrance of me. Love one another. In the garden, he also says, Why couldn't you stay awake and pray with me? And at the top, of course, on the cross, he says, Father, another command, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. So, I know that's maybe a bit of a stretch. But Jesus is always telling his disciples and the people, if you look through the Christian scripture, he's telling them, do this, don't do that. Put your hand to the plow. Don't take your sandals and your tunic. Over and over and over. And if you look at Jesus from a certain perspective... He's just always telling people what to do. You know, that's also tempting for a preacher, a pastor. Sometimes it can seem like I stand in front of you uh, on any given Sunday, whether it's in person or on this screen, and sort of tell you what to do. Sometimes we call that getting preachy. Today, I want you to tell me what to do. And by extension, I want you to tell our staff and our congregation what to do. This is what I'm asking. We have reached, after two years of COVID, hopefully, and I hope that I'm not getting ahead of myself, a place where we've been able to welcome people back into the sanctuary, masks if they want, no masks if they choose. All around Christianity and and truly all around the religious world, people are asking a two-word question. Now what? Before COVID, before the pandemic, we asked ourselves as a matter of theory, should we broadcast? Should we not broadcast? How should we do worship? How should we not do worship? And then two years ago, we were forced into those questions. I would like to think that Trinity has responded really well. And that's thanks to our staff, that's thanks to all of you for your patience, for your ideas, all of that. But now we're at a place where we're asking ourselves, how do we go forward? And that's where we need you to tell us what to do. For those of you who are regulars in the building, What do you want out of worship? What do you want out of the style of worship? We've had to change a few things here and there to accommodate the needs of cameras and sound. Those of you who watch regularly or even all the time on a screen, whether that's your computer screen, your TV, whatever it might be, what do you want from us? What do you want to make this uh, video presentation better? What do you like? What don't you like? What could we do better? Don't be afraid to be a little bit bossy, like sometimes Jesus was. Because going forward, the question of the day really is, now what? 
How do we share the gospel with the world? How do we share the gospel and maintain a sometimes family and close feel while also getting the word out to people who may feel nervous or just not interested in coming through our sanctuary doors? All of those people deserve to hear the word of forgiveness and grace and comfort and even some of the commands of Jesus. We have the capability to do all of it. That's not our challenge. It's the how, it's the why, it's the when and the where. Those are the questions we need you to answer. So I'm inviting you to reach out to me. My email address is Pastor Peter, all one word, at tlcmoline.org. Pastor Peter at tlcmoline.org. Your responses will be confidential. And what I'll do after some time is put all the ideas together and that will inform our staff and congregation where we should head in the next weeks and months ahead. Please be honest. Give us your ideas. And maybe even be a little bit bossy. Because that's the only way that we're going to f- answer the question of now what for our congregation together. And I especially want to hear from people who watch us from a distance, maybe another city, another state, even another country, who are only seeing us on video. Tell us what you think, too. So, thank you for listening, for watching, for participating over these two years. You've done a great job, but we're asking you to go a little bit further. Tell us what you think and what you need. Preach, if you want. Thanks. Close my eyes, I still can see you, Lord, before me. Hanging on a cross, my tears fall like rain, like the blood that you shed for me. This is love, this is sacrifice, the innocent lamb lays down his life, and I should be dead, guilty of my sin, I count it all off. Because of your love Saved by your grace Redeemed by your blood Forgiven by your to me that you could care that much to give your life completely and this is love this is sacrifice the innocent lamb lays down his life I shouldn't be dead Guilty of my sin I count
Thank you. 